Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are once again talking about the upcoming Silver Stars promo that is coming to FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. Could this promo actually crash the market? That's the question that we're going to talk about theoretically today because there's a lot of unknown as a part of this promo. Are there going to be cards and packs or is it just going to be objectives and SBCs? We're going to take a look at some of the leaks, of course, and just talk about how the game would react to a brand new promo like this, something that we have never seen before. And sometimes when you have uncertainty like that and new cards and new promos like this, it can cause the market to drop. So I want to talk about all those things today and my spin on things as I do feel like a promo with silver cards would also, it would depend on a lot of things. There's going to be a lot of big if factors with a potential promo like this. And we have to talk about these road to the final cards as they are leaving packs tomorrow. Could they be potential investments for a rise out of packs as they are live cards? They have a low pack weight. I think a lot of people are looking to invest in these road to the final items. So I want to talk about all of that in today's video. So if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to hit a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Now let's talk about Silver Stars once again, a little bit about what in the world this promo is even sounding like it's going to be like. We have a couple leaked players, a couple new ones. I don't think we looked at yesterday. This Rutter striker card from the Bundesliga, a French striker. He's another Silver Stars item that is leaked to be coming out during this promo. And there's actually a really big one that is leaked uh, to be coming out. And it was just a very subtle leak by Foot Sheriff. A lot of uh, people saw this. Um, and it's some, some French wording, right? And everybody sees this and they think Paul Pugba. So now we have a Paul Pugba that is rumored as a part of this Silver Stars promo. And we have a Kevin De Bruyne, which is so very interesting how it sounds like this is going to go down. We don't really have any more new leaks besides those players. Um, but again, it, it just sounds like this promo is going to be about silver cards. Now, how could this crash the market, right? In reality, for me, it all comes down to stats. If you look at this leaked Musonda card, right? 90 pace, 88 dribble, 79 shooting, 82 passing. That's a cracked out silver rated card. But if you compare that to the meta cards that are on this game right now for other right mids, like even this Inform Ito that was that was put out in the game yesterday, right? 23,000 coins for a four-star, four-star card. With those kind of stats, you know, people aren't going to want to use silver cards if they don't have good stats, right? Everybody is worried about the meta and the best cards that they can use in this game. So that is one, that is my main point. It's really going to come down to the stats, right? How are they going to do... Um, like a Kevin De Bruyne, right? Of course, we see a Renier. This card, it looks okay. It looks cracked for a silver, but does it really look that good that people are going to sell cards that they currently have in their team to go and get one of these silver stars, even for a KDB or a Pogba? Again, it really, in my opinion, depends on the statistics. Now, one thing that I think could really impact the market in an interesting way would be how would EA Sports go about um, you know, maybe they're required, they're going to require these silver cards in the weekend league, right? If they required you to use silver cards in the weekend league, um, because of this new promo or something like that, then I think that it really could drop the market. But again, I, I feel like there's way more opportunity for a, a promo with silver cards to be less hype than more hype. But again, it all comes down to the stats and it all comes down to how EA released the cards it sounds like it's just going to be objectives and SBCs, which would take away from the hype, in my opinion, of some of these cards as well. That would mean that there would be less of them being released. So for me, it really feels like it's not going to affect the market that much. But we, we have to continue in the mindset that we still don't exactly know how this is going to work. And that there is that small chance and that small possibility that it could impact the market a little bit. It all depends on what EA structures this silver promo around. Like if they require you to use these silver cards as a part of any sort of the competitive competitions on this game, which I don't think that they would because they haven't done anything like that yet this year. They've done it in years past where they've required you to use silver cards in the weekend league um, and stuff like that. I, I don't think they would do that, at least not right now, maybe in the summer or something like that. So that's the, really, the biggest argument for me and, and the biggest situation that kind of settles my mind a bit about this whole Silver Stars promo is that it's going to have to come down to the stats. And if the stats aren't good, then people value the meta in this game so much that they're not going to try out new cards and grind for them if the stats aren't good, right? And that's just plain 
and simple how I think it's going to come down for the Silver Stars promo. Now, again, we talked about the pug, but we talked about this being mostly a, a SBC or objective promo. But Sheriff here is saying, can't wait to see EA release lightning rounds for Silver Packs. Um, little conversation between the leakers here. Genuine question out of curiosity, do you think they'll be on the market? He says, yes, TBH. I got told some names on a team that I know weren't listed as SBCs or objectives. So, Again, hopefully today on Thursday, we get a loading screen, right? Hopefully today we get a loading screen or something that just tells us more about this promo because again, it's just so confusing and it's so uncertain, right? Again, here's a question about Kevin De Bruyne's um, Silver Stars item. Foot Sheriff says that his stats are better than his 91 rated item. Um, and again, people are like, what? Exactly, the stats I got told are interesting. Weird concept. It is a weird concept. It's confusing. It's something we've never seen before. And that uncertainty can cause the market to be very cautious as well. Um, but again, that side of my mind is working. I'm talking like, yeah, this promo does not seem like it's going to be very hype. So uh, thinking in that sort of sense, maybe investing in some of these road to the final cards might be a decent idea if people are going to look at this new promo and be like, man, this doesn't look that great. I'm just going to go out and buy Road to the Final cards because those are better than everything that's coming out. And these are the next most hype cards in the game. Now, along with this promo, Silver Stars might be like objectives and maybe a few cards in packs and SBCs. But I think that Icon Moments as well is going to be a big part of what we see for a promo this weekend. So really watch the Icon side of things on the market today. I think that in years past, we have seen a loading screen for Icon Moments before. Um, a day before they are released. And I think that might be the pack content that they try to sell us this weekend, right? They might run lightning rounds for Icon Moments cards that are going to be in packs. And then the SBCs and objectives as a part of Icon Moments would be like the Silver Stars promo or whatever it's going to be called. Um, that might be how they kind of they kind of mix it up. That might be our like promo for this weekend. But again, hopefully a loading screen or some tweets from EA Give us some more information today before we head into the day tomorrow on Friday, on Promo Friday, and figure out what's kind of going on with that. I also would expect to see more leaks today about Silver Stars um, on on this on this on the Twitter, in the community, and stuff like that. So I'll be looking out for a lot of that as well. But again, back to the road to the final, right? Because the way that I'm thinking of this is if this Silver Stars promo is just icon moments and packs, and if it's just some silver objectives and SBCs. I think that's going to make some of these road to the final cards and the rest of the market in general actually have a potential to go up in price because people are going to look at these cards and say these are going out of packs. They're decently rare. Some of them are getting upgraded in the next like day or two days, depending on when EA start to do these upgrades. The last Champions League games this week are done, right? We are now on to the Europa League and Conference League game today on Tuesday, and a lot of these cards have moved, right? Only a few of them are actually getting upgraded. Havertz is one of those cards that is actually getting an upgrade from the games that happened this weekend. Um, I think he's actually the only one that's getting an upgrade. Yeah, Havertz is the only one that's getting an upgrade because the other games uh, were all draws, if I'm thinking correctly so this card is going to be going to a 90 rated item yes kai havertz is going to be 90 rated uh and i think people have started investing in this because havertz was down at 230k right now it looks like he is up a bit at 238 240k so this is the one thing i'll tell you about investing in these road to the finals right invest in the ones that people think are going to upgrade and also the ones that are very hype right again you have to look at hype you have to look at popularity and also if they're good in game. Now we had the Mason Mount SBC that was released yesterday as a part of the showdown with Mount and Origi. And the Mason Mount card does not look very good. And I think that was one of the things that we were just waiting to see if this Mount SBC that was leaked would drop the Havertz card. And maybe it did a little bit. But this card does not look anywhere near as good as the Havertz does. And what the better card from yesterday was this Origi, right? Look at this item. They gave him a huge boost. Um, only coming in at 130, 140,000 coins, an 83 squad and an 85 squad. This card is a W. So I was a big fan of the showdown yesterday. This, of course, I'm kind of rooting for Liverpool now on the weekend because I just want to see this Origi to plus two, which is actually so funny because it seems like now when they release all these showdown SBCs, it's, it's always a draw. I mean, think back to like Muriel and Darmian. 
Uh, and even yesterday with Bayi and DePaul, Atletico Madrid and Manchester United drawing in the Champions League, those cards are only going to get a plus one. So Bayi and DePaul both get, both going to get upgraded. Hopefully we have an outright winner here, which we will because it's the League Cup final. Uh, but hopefully that outright winner is Liverpool, in my opinion, for a FIFA perspective. I would love to see this Origi go to an 89 rated card and how even more cracked he would be with that upgrade. But everybody's loving this SBC, 4,200 thumbs up for the price and just for the card that it is. And then the Mount SBC, of course, has got 4,800 thumbs down on the other side of things. So that was our content yesterday. And a lot of what we had yesterday on the market as well, so these, these Road to the Finals dropped off a little bit more. There was a pack supply SBC that was not a crazy pack supply SBC, but just something out there. But you take a look at a lot of these prices again. Mr. Mares went from a million coins all the way down to like 800. Yeah, so he appears in a million coins all the way down to 850. Now he's risen back up a little bit. And some of these road to the finals have risen up a little bit into the nighttime. Others of them are still low. Quadrado 139. Um, you see Havertz at 230, Tellez is 220. That's actually the cheapest that he's been. Bale, 220. That's the cheapest that he's been throughout this promo. Kempembe is in the low 1.1 million coin range. Denayer, 65K. Emre Chan, 61,000 coins. Lozano was just 32K. I think that, yes, some of these cards might get supplied today with Rivals Rewards. I'm going to pick up another Havertz there at 228 because I just think that's a little bit too cheap. Now, I've started to buy a few of these cards, Havertz, because he is going to get to upgrade. But one thing I'll tell you is this, between today with Rivals Rewards and, of course, marquee matchups, you just, I would say, be careful with some of these. You can invest in a few of them if you want to. Of course, taking the risk now, thinking that the Silver Stars promo or whatever is going to be happening for Silver Stars is not going to be that hype. You're taking the risk earlier, kind of like just me buying that Havertz right there. Um, you know, there's more reward, right? Because if the promo is found out to be not so good, then these cards are going to start to rise up because of that. But if the promo is found out to be pretty good, then these cards could go down. So I would watch the market today, marquee matchups, and then even tomorrow and Friday, depending on how this, this promo is going to look, might create opportunities um, and potential for these cards to go down with marquee matchups and that supply. But then again, after that, of course, people might start investing in them too. So just keep an eye out for things as I think if the promo this weekend is not hype, some of these will go up in price. Now, I've just bought a few of them. I have a couple Havertz. I thought that this Bale, he was down at like 210 at one point. I think he's up a little bit now. Uh, he's like 220 or almost 230 even, but he was down towards like 210. Uh, and I picked up a couple of those there. Some of the cards are still up in price, like, right? Like uh, Renato Sanchez is still up. Um, I'm, I'm being very, very careful with him. I still think this Tellez is a very interesting item, as a lot of people have. Um, they have like the Varane SBC. They have the Eric Bay SBC. So I'm kind of watching this Tellez. And as a Brazilian left back, uh, you have Renan Lodi as his like other competition for just a promo card. This still has the potential to upgrade too, right? In a couple weeks when Manchester United are going to play against Atletico in the second leg. Whoever moves on from there will get the upgrade. So no upgrade for the draw in the first leg. But again, you still have potential for basically all of these cards that are out in packs right now to get an upgrade soon. So that's the draw to them. And I think a lot of people are going to want invest, uh, to invest in them. So just be careful um, as some of these will be over-invested in, in as well, um, depending on what content that we do have coming their prices are going to fluctuate and they are going to move on the market for sure. So again, that's kind of what I'm feeling with on the market right now. Live cards like these road to the finals have like always risen out of packs. If I'm being completely honest, could this be the year though with the market being so different? Ooh, 215. Bang. We'll take that. Could this be the year though, where these cards do not rise out of packs for whatever reason, if EA has got something up their sleeve for this weekend with icon moments um, or something crazy along those lines. Some of the leaks that have been put out about some of the Icon Moments cards make them look actually kind of cracked, which I feel like people are looking over this stuff right now. But um, some of the other, um, this is a leak here of the Zidane um, stats for his Icon Moments card, plus 15 agility on the Zidane card from the Prime. 93 agility, these are confirmed stats. There's also leaks about uh, Moments Pushkas having like five-star skills. Uh, okay, this is again a concept. This is not like a screenshot from in the game. This is a like a prediction with just really good editing showing the card like it was in the game. So this is what we're kind of looking for with the icon moments. Um, 
to be released this weekend. So that's going to be part of the hype as a part of this weekend as well. But Icon Moments, of course, I mean, it's it's not live cards. It's not promo cards. So some people will probably write it off as not very cool. So just kind of keep that in mind with Icon Moments as well. Um, he mentions here that Joe Ellington's not the only objective coming for the Silver Stars promo. And then I want to talk about this briefly at the end of the video too. There's no info yet on a road to the final player SPC, which would seem like an atrocity to not get a, a road to the final player SBC again. Think about all the great SBCs we had during Road to the Knockouts, and there's still a couple cards like or a couple teams like Villarreal that played against Juve this week that that don't even have a live card right now on this game, kind of representing their team in in the quest for the Champions League. So it would be a really big bummer if we didn't actually end up having a a road to the final player SBC, but technically this is our last day for that opportunity to come up in this game. So I'm very interested to see if we do get one of those last minute today. And if we don't, that'd be a big bummer. It really would be. But I guess I guess in one um, one statement that could be made would be, well, EA put 22 road to the final cards in packs. So instead of releasing like three or four SBCs during this promo, they just put all the extra cards in packs anyways to try to sell packs. I don't know, but it is a bit of a bummer because again, here it says, enjoy road to the final dynamic player items along with themed SBCs, objectives, and more throughout the campaign. So I guess it doesn't say player SBCs. It just says themed SBCs, but th that would be a bit of a bummer if we didn't have any road to the final player SBCs. Again, the, the Fakir vibes, the Bernardo Silva, the Delict from earlier on, do an SBC and hope for that player's team to perform along their way in a Champions League run. So watch these Road to the Final cards today with the supply that they will have. Of course, we have some other games on in the Europa League. There's a lot. There's actually a lot more cards that are in action today. Uh, a very interesting matchup is Chucky Lozano and Napoli against um, Ansu Fati's live card and Barcelona. Basically, for these cards, I think EA is going to upgrade the winner of this game today, even though it's technically it's like a, a playoff to get in to uh, the knockout rounds. I think what they're doing is since they released a special card for Irving Lozano and Ansu Fati, I think they are gonna upgrade the winner uh, of this game, even though it's not technically in the same stage that the Champions League is in. If you look at it, because they have the playoffs for the Conference League and for the Europa League, it's kind of an interesting scenario there. I still think that the winner of that game today is gonna be included with the first batch of upgrades um, that will come out hopefully this weekend. Uh, so keep an eye on Fati and Lozano because those would be two items that are playing today. Ilicic has got a game today. Papu Gomez, uh, Emre Chan, and uh, Dortmund are in a very, very peculiar situation. They are down right now. They need to have a huge comeback game today uh, against, I think it's Rangers, for them to, to get an upgrade. 65K for a Chan with the striker position change. I can't resist that. Position change, chemistry style, trading method right there. How much does this sell for? Striker Emre Chan sells for how much? Oh, there's not even any of them up. It's 75K. Boom. I'm going to list this one for like 77 and see if we get this sale. But again, the teams that are the biggest underdogs to get upgrades, those have the biggest potential profits, right? If they were to come back and win on aggregate and advance out of the playoffs into the actual knockout rounds of the Europa League, I mean, that would be the first upgrade for Emre Chan. Uh, and, but he's not favored to get one right now. So that's the kind of hype that we could see today. Cards that are maybe not expected to get an upgrade um, that could come back and win with so many games taking place today on Thursday for the Europa League and the Conference League. But other than that, take just keep watching the market, right? A lot of prices are fluctuating on some of these rare cards. I'm trying to flip a couple of these Hollands right now, uh, trying to get them under 400K. I think I can sell around like 430 or 440. So um, it's just the market right now is a very interesting place as we're awaiting some information on this Silver Stars promo or whatever it's going to be. We'll talk about it more tomorrow for what we learn. Again, hopefully today we get a loading screen. But other than the marquee matchups that we expect today, maybe I don't know if there's any league SBCs that are not available at the moment that are waiting to be refreshed. I feel like we have all of them in here. Maybe we get an icon SB. I, I don't know. I'm really curious to see what happens today uh, on this game. Thursday has have been icon SBC days before. So I'm curious to see what eSports does today for content on a Thursday. We haven't had many gamble packs or any gamble packs this week, in all honesty. So that's the video for today, boys. Let me know down in below what you think. I read a lot of you guys' comments and you're like, yeah, Silver Stars, it seems cool for collecting cards. 
but it also does not seem very cool um, just for the fact that they're silver cards. Not very meta, not very hype. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think about that. Of course, if you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.